Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a heat map using SPSS. Um, this is a new feature in SPSS 28, so if you have an earlier version this will not work. And you probably unfortunately will have to use Microsoft Excel or something to do this. Um, I have some example data here and um, the way to create a heat map is to actually construct a cross table first. There are two ways you can do this. You can either use the tables and then the custom tables or just go for descriptive statistics and then cross steps. Um, I'll be using this later option in this video but it doesn't really matter. Um, I need to put the one variable in rows and another one in the columns and that's it. Uh, just hit OK and now we should get our cross table. Now from this cross table we can generate a heat map by double clicking on it. That will open the pivot table area. You might want to resize it a little bit so you can better see your uh, data. Um, perhaps even more. Uh, and um, I need to actually select now all the cells that are going to be included in the heat map. So that excludes the totals. Right click on this and then select color scales and that's a new option. You can then actually select the colors for low value so uh, there are a few options here you can go to other and then you have a whole lot of different colors to choose from. I went with red and for the high color perhaps make it a bright green something like uh, this and then select OK. Now this looks a bit weird, but if you unselect it, it all of a sudden now looks like a heat map. Uh, you can close the pivot table, it will save the changes automatically, and there is a basic heat map. Uh, starting on the top left, it looks like there are some high values, and the lower right as well a little bit, so there seems to be like a diagonal line going. Uh, or uh, the other diagonal could sometimes be of interest. If it's all over the place then there doesn't seem to be much of a um, relation. But okay, that's just interpretation. This video was about how to create a heat map and hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.